Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, I wanted to come to you guys with an update with my spark aligners. So, and the reason why I'm coming, okay. They gave me, this is my third set, guys. So, those of you guys who are new to my channel, I have been doing spark aligners for almost a year now. It's almost a year? Yeah. Um, my first set was my first set was fine and I needed a little bit more adjusting the second set was going well until my last set of retainers that last set of retainers was supposed to just keep my teeth in place I noticed that on the package that it had an OC on the retainer packet and it didn't have that on the first set that I had so I called and I asked them does this mean overcorrecting? Do I wear them the same way? The lady told me to wear them the same way. Granted, it was just a receptionist, so an issue happened where I went back for my final, and basically what was happening is that my two front teeth, they were hurting with the, with the, with the retainers, and I didn't know why, but the orthodontist said, she was like, pretty much it was hurting because your teeth were still trying to shift, and there was nowhere for them to go. So I was like, oh. So then she pointed out that my two front teeth were slightly going uh, this way, inwards. So I had to get a third set. And I mean, it's not that bad, but I'm coming to you guys today because she told me, they gave me like 20, they might have, they, I think they gave me like 19, <laughs> 19 more trays. But I'm gonna stop at 10. And she said to stop at 10 just to make sure that I'm still good. I'm coming to you guys today because I am noticing that they're looking really, really good. And, excuse me, I'm only on tray five. This is tray six. The new set says True Gen XR. I don't even know what that means. But this is tray six. I'm on tray five now. And I'm noticing that they look really good. So, I am almost 100% sure that the 10th tray will be perfect or even probably before that to be quite honest so it's shifting a little bit now <laughs> I'll say this if you are doing any aligners I stopped wearing them from the second set because she wanted me to wear the retainers from the last set and they were bothering me so I just completely <laughs> took them out I just didn't wear them for like maybe over three weeks so when i got the new set guys the first tray oh my god it was like it wasn't terrible but it definitely was like tight and i wasn't expecting it like i had like a low-key headache <laughs> but I'm, I'm fine now so i am noticing on my tray five on my third set that they kind of look back to where they were that second set before i did those retainers if that makes sense they were fine, and I should have just paid a little bit more attention, but in my head, I'm like, they should know, right? They are the orthodontists, right? But no. So pay attention to your teeth, guys. And I'm noticing now on this set, which is crazy, I'm actually, they're snapping on. Like, they're like snapping. And initially, I couldn't get this bottom one out. Oh my goodness. I was like, this is crazy. There is a way to take them out. You just kind of put your hand in and squeeze. Pull, start from the back. Do not start from the front. That do, that will not work. You will be there with saliva in your mouth, and that's not what you want. So, pay attention to your teeth. So, for me, again, tray five on my third set is good. Typically, I would say, from my experience, if you had slight movement that needed to happen, kind of like mine, I would say the second set would have been perfect before the retainers <laughs> okay so like i said the retainer part was definitely where it messed up for me and someone should have told me like okay this i i said it was overcorrecting. i don't know i just kind of figured that the oc meant that and that's what was happening so it pretty much like shifted them back like yeah so spark aligners this is tray this is one of two boxes that i have and this is one, one, through, one through 13 in this one. But I'm gonna stop at tray 10, like I said. So I have four more weeks. And then I'm gonna stop um, and see. 
And sometimes you could actually take the trays and look at them and see <laughs> where your teeth are gonna be. Cause that's what I did the first time. So my tray 10, this is my tray 10 here. I can look at tray 10 and see that my teeth are straight. Literally, and well they will be extra straight. I could even look at tray, what is this? 13, and I could see, I could see the straightness. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. So, tray 10, I'm gonna go back, but you can literally see how your teeth are going to be. I still recommend them, guys. Uh, you guys know I did not have a lot of pain with mine. And that's like I said, I, I, I think that has a lot to do with how much movement and how quickly they're moving. I change mine once a week, which I absolutely love, guys. And the reason why I like that is because these aligners can get really just yucky. Even if you're brushing your teeth, I've said this before, you can be brushing your teeth, flossing, mouthwash, all that good stuff. Something is always sitting somewhere, okay? And I just hate to see it. So I always get excited when my week is coming up to change them because I can just start all over. But make sure you are washing your aligners. Like you brush them like you brush your teeth. Let them air dry. I typically do not take them out of the packet and just put it in my mouth. I do brush them with some toothpaste. I do. I really do. Um, because I don't know, like, it's been sitting in this plastic. God knows what's on it. It's already going to sit in my mouth, but just brush them before you put them in. Uh, become accustomed on how to take them out quickly, especially when you're at dinner. It's it's annoying, but I will say this. <laughs> it's fine. Like, I always crack a joke, like, I'm going to go take my teeth out so people are not, like, weirded out that I'm, like, keep getting up and going to the bathroom and stuff because you got to brush your teeth. But I told you guys this before, if I am close to home, I'll just rinse my mouth out and just put them in, okay? And when I get home, I'll just take them out and do like the whole thing. Cause sometimes the bathrooms are like really gross and I really don't wanna brush my teeth in a public bathroom. Um, so just make sure you're not leaving food in your mouth and putting these aligners on because that's just a no bueno, right? So. I just wanted to let you guys know how everything is going on my set three. Like I said, I do not think that the average person would need three sets. Um, I really don't. I think that there was a screw up with those last uh, retainers. And hopefully, well, I know I'll be good. I know I'll be good. Because I'll be paying attention to it more than before because now I know. Um, but I'm excited. So let me come a little closer. Just close. <laughs> See? I'm looking over here. Looks good. So here, this two and this two, they kind of stick out on their own. Those are like my fang teeth. And I don't know. It looks good though. <laughs> um, I have them on now if you were, were wondering. So she did add more attachments. Like it's so annoying. I just can't wait to get them off and get my teeth whitened. Now, I will say this. I feel like I have been talking a little bit like a slur. <laughs> and I'm pretty much comfortable with them, but I feel like I have been. I don't know why, uh, but everything is still going good. Even if you have a slur in the beginning, it will definitely go away. So again, the price of these were 4,000. My insurance covered 2,500, guys make sure you are going i'm gonna say this in every video make sure you are going to an orthodontist because my regular dentist did them as well but my insurance is only covering like i forgot how much it was such a small amount and then when i went to them it was the whole 25 and then that, that was perfect for me right so you want to make sure that you're going to an orthodontist someone that's really good um that have really great reviews they're really nice in there, so I wasn't really annoyed at the, you know, the second thing, um, the second hiccup, but pay attention to your teeth. They have Spark Aligner, they have Invisalign, they have so many different things. I will say this, I would not, I know people do it, I would prefer to go into an orthodontist's office 
as opposed to going online and getting like one of those smile things, right? I know you take your own prints, but I, I just feel like to be 100% sure that it's going to come out how you want it to, I would say go into an orthodontist office. If you have dental insurance, do that, guys. Trust me, you will thank yourself later on and go to an orthodontist. If you do not have dental on your current dental plan at your job, honey, you need to go ahead and add it on the next time they have, what is it called? When they have open enrollment, change it. It's probably a few dollars just so you can get that benefit so you can get them to pay for it. It's only, it's literally, it's, I don't even think it was 12 bucks to add it on. Cause I never had to go to an orthodontist so I just had regular dental care. But I added it on and I'm so happy that I did because they paid $2,500 of the 4,000 guys. So the only other thing that I have to pay for is my retainers. And once I'm done, I'll get the attachments off, get my teeth whitened and we are back in business guys. So let me know if you guys have any questions on the spark aligners. Um, I like them a lot. Very minimal pain. I've said this before. Just this last time, it's because I weren't, I wasn't wearing them. But if you are in between aligners, watch a few videos. I'll link some of mine for you guys. Uh, make sure you are doing your research. Figure out which ones you want to do. There is a guy on YouTube who had Invisalign. Yeah, and he'll probably pop up. He had a lot of teeth issues, and his teeth came out so amazing. Like they were just so, so perfect. It like brightened up his face. And I've said this before, your teeth are very important. People who have any insecurities about their, about their teeth, they don't smile, they just, they cover up. It's just a lot of things that people do. So if you can afford it, definitely go for it. If you have to get regular braces, then do that as well. I just know I couldn't do it. Like I just know me. So. If you have to do regular braces, do it. But if you are struggling with your teeth and you really want to do it and you just feel like maybe you're too old to do it, honey, just go ahead and do it. You can do this if you want or you can do regular braces. But you guys know I'm going to recommend this because you can just take them out. Like, I don't know. Braces are cool. But like I said, most insurance companies will pay 100% of braces. So think about that as well if you're trying to save um, save some money. But um, yeah. Just a quick update. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely answer everything for you guys. Um, I told you guys about the price and everything and to make sure you are going to an orthodontist. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style services, CocoStylesNY.com and my style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And I'm on TikTok, Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.